So guys, ikikwento ko sa inyo ang experience ko sa interview. Ninth Street. Keep left to South Royal Kings Avenue. We are here now in Louisville, Kentucky. My interview time will be 1:25 p.m. and it's only 12 p.m. right now. You know my husband is always advanced. <laughs> We're here in United States Post Office Courthouse and Custom House. Hiya. There she is. We're at Ken Louisville, Kentucky. Just passed test for citizenship. So just needs to get sworn in. And she is U.S. citizen. Congratulations. Yeah, my husband's gonna take a picture of me. Hi guys, so we are here. Yeah. So do you need any of those papers? Uh, you need yeah. any? No. <laughs> so he, she did not ask any documents from me. She just asked me questions and that's all. That's not her job. The job, yeah. the documents has already been done. I told you that. Uh-huh. Yay! <laughs> Yay! But my husband is not happy right now because we are stuck in traffic. No, for an hour at least. Yeah, for an hour. Um, but finally, yeah, I passed my interview. So guys, we are here. We're not moving. We're not moving at all. We've been here for an hour. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Look at that. Seven minutes left, oh. and we are home. Oh man, that was brutal, terrible. Worse. So guys, finally, we got out from traffic. Oh my goodness. It's uh, it's only one hour and thirty minutes drive, but it took it took two eight. hours and thirty minutes. An extra hour. Is it? We're three hours. Keep right on I-275, then exit right. So guys, we're gonna get burger because burger. we are hungry right now. We're gonna get burger. 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 We got our burger and here's my drink. Burger. So we just got home in we're going to eat our burger and here's my um, haystack onion and here's my husband um, burger and french fries this is our simple celebration simple celebration today <laughs> we and we're tired yeah we are tired we're supposed to eat in back in the restaurant yeah hey congratulations yeah that's good good job so guys, ikikwento ko sa inyo ang experience ko sa interview. Hindi ako magaling magkwento. So, pasensya na kayo guys sa kwento ko. Kasi hindi rin, hindi ako magaling magtagalog masyado. So, please bear with me. <laughs> so, umpisahan ko guys dito sa aking outfit. Uh, just make sure lang na kahit interview, yung iba naka, na, nakita ko doon, naka ano lang sila, naka pants, parang hindi, mas, hindi formal. Pero okay naman yun kasi dito sa US hindi naman sila masyadong stricto sa suot. Pero, pero sa ano daw sa off ceremony, kailangan naka ano, naka formal, naka formal wear. Allowed magdala ng cellphone pero hindi siguro pwedeng mag, magamit ng cellphone sa loob. Pero allowed ka magdala ilalagay lang sa bag. Dating namin doon, interview note ko, hiningi nila. Lahat ng passport nyo talaga guys, dalhin nyo. Kahit yung lumang passport, dalhin nyo talaga. And then yung green card, dalhin nyo rin. And then nag fingerprint din, left side mo na and then right, din kukunan ka rin ng picture mo. And then maghihintay ka na kung kailan ka tatawag. Just pay attention lang talaga sa sasabihin niya. So yun nga sabi niya, close the door and put your things in in the chair and then so nilagay ko lahat ng bag ko and then so 
raise your right hand so raise ko naman yung right hand ko are you promised to tell the truth and i said yes i do and then after that pinaupo na ako and then tinanong ako kaagad guys So, ang tanong sa akin, guys, during the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? And then, nasagot ko yun ng tama. Ang sagot ko ay communism. So, ayun. And then, and then may, meron siyang parang sinulat sa computer. Hindi ko alam kung ano. And then, the next question, hindi naman sunod-sunod yung tanong. Parang may, merong ano, parang one minute, one minute siyang nag nagki-click sa computer bago ka tanungin uli so makaka-relax ka after ng tanong niya so so ang sunod niyang tanong guys ay what did Martin Luther King Jr. do sagot ko ay fought for civil rights and what is one of the US territory and din ang sagot ko ay Guam if the president can no longer serve who will be the president and then my answer is vice president and then and 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 then after 50 seconds again, tinanong niya ako ng if both president and vice president can no longer serve, who will be the president? And then ang answer ko ay the speaker of the house. Six questions was, we elect for president for how many years? And then the answer is um, four years. Okay, so six questions, I answered it correctly. And then after that, um, reading test naman and then the reading was who was president lincoln and then and then after that you don't need to answer the the reading test and then so after that writing test naman writing test was um lincoln was the president during the civil war and then so sinulat ko ang haba guys so sabi ko so kinakabahan ako sabi ko Lincoln was the president during oh I forgot the next one I said during <laughs> I said oh my gosh I forgot and she said during during civil, the civil war so I write it down good thing that she said it again I said uh, Lincoln was the president during the civil war so I passed that so after that um she asked me what is your full name what is your previous name and then if if I want to change my name legally I said no and then Where do you work? And are you single, married, divorced? I said I'm married. And then who is your husband? And she did not ask any dates when I become permanent resident or what what is my husband's birthday and then when I started working. He, she did not ask the, any of that and then after that I almost forgot she asked me my my current address and that's all and then the next she asked me the the part 12 guys uh she asked me all of this the part 12 additional information about you and then the first question was have you ever claimed to be a u.s citizen have you ever registered to vote in any any federal state or local elections in the u.s in the united states and then I, my answer was no 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 have you ever voted in any federal state or local election in the United States and then no items number 45 to 50 yeah just pay attention lang dito sa question sa after mong mag no 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 sa mga questions kasi baka mamaya mag baka mamaya magsabi ka lang na no 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 na hindi mo pinapakinggan yung sinasabi niya kasi yung next question will be do you support the constitution and form of government of the United States of course yes and and then do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States yes are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States yes if the law if the law requires it are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the united states of course yes if the law requires it are you willing to perform non-combatant non-combatant service in the u.s armed forces yes if the law requires it are you willing to perform work of national importance 
under civilian direction of course yes i forgot guys um she asked me if i if i have children and then i said no i, I don't have children and then after that uh, tingnan mo kung tama yung nakasulat diyan and then so tiningnan ko yung name yung birth cert yung birthday ko and then yung address so tama naman i said yes and then nag-sign so yun lang guys uh, yun lang and then nag-sign ako dalawang beses and then accept signature and then pinatingnan lang niya yung screen sa akin kung tama yung mga nakasulat and then sabi ko yes that's right so congratulations you passed your test and then binigyan niya ako ng papel no tips ko lang pag-aralan niyo lang talaga ako guys talaga nag-focus ako sa YouTube I search nyo lang 100 naturalization test for 2019 yun um Yun lang palagi yung pina yung pinapakinggan ko. Hindi ko to <laughs> hindi ako masyadong nagbabasa dito sa libro. Sa ano talaga ako sa YouTube pinapakinggan ko lang. Kahit nasa trabaho ako, yun lagi ang pinapakinggan ko. We supposed to eat outside in the restaurant to, to celebrate that I passed my interview but my my husband was was so tired because um Pagod na pagod siya guys kasi yung ano, grabe yung traffic kanina kasi ano, um, magda-drive siya so medyo mabilis yung drive. And then biglang mag-stop kasi sa unahan, ano, traffic and then okay na naman, medyo mabilis. And then stop na naman kasi may traffic so nakakapagod daw yun. Ang next ko naman na pag-aaralan ay driving yan naman yung 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 panonoorin ko na naman sa YouTube yung driving na naman kasi yun yung next goal namin na matuto akong mag-drive yan yung pinaka pinaka mahirap siguro sa akin kasi takot ako sa mga drive drive so din na lang natin guys kung ma-surpass ko tong takot ko sa pag-drive and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe